In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. We prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, may the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful people to welcome the Paschal Mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing from beneath the threshold to the temple towards the east, for the facade of the temple was towards the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside to the north gate, and, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more he had made me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand, and he had me weighed. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I had, could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me back to the bank of the river, which he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district, down upon the Arabah, and empties into the sea, the salt water, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. 
Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The verse before the gospel, a clean heart created for me, O God, give me back the joy of your salvation. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida with five porticles. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered Jesus, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, it is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, the man who made me well told me, take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who told you, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd after this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Those who were at Mass on Sunday heard the Gospel from chapter 3 of John, beginning with, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, lifted up to be crucified on a cross. Scripture scholars tell us that it is such healings like we heard today, the man at the pool, which caused, as we actually heard in today's gospel, because Jesus healed on the Sabbath, they began, the scribes and Pharisees began to persecute him, which will eventually lead to Jesus being lifted up on the cross. Somewhat curious that after the man was healed, Jesus sought him out and said, sin no more. So in the sense, this previous sin, probably a sin of his youth, is what 
actually led to him being crippled for 38 years. The beauty is that Jesus comes to be lifted up so that all of our sins can be forgiven, that we who are crippled by our sins, by our unwillingness to forgive, for the times we lack charity, for the times we are selfish, for the times we are self-absorbed, Jesus comes to be lifted up that our sins will be forgiven. In the beautiful reading from the prophet Ezekiel, we hear from the temple flowing from every direction, first a trinkle, then a stream, and then a flood of water, and that is a a foretaste, a foreshadowing of the grace that comes to the church, that comes to us through the gift of Jesus Christ. An abundance of grace, more than we can imagine, more than we can ever use, a lot of grace that we actually probably ignore. But Jesus, as he asks the man, what is it you want me to do for you, is the same question he asks us. Do you want to be well? And of course, our season of 40 days of Lent is an invitation for us to look at our lives. Where in my life do I need to be healed? Where in my life do I need Jesus? Where in my life do I need this baptismal water to flood, to cleanse me, to make me whole? May we pray that we have insight of where we need to be healed, and may we pray that we may be open, that the waters of baptism wash over us continually, that we may be one with Christ today, one with Christ in eternity. Trusting God's grace and love, we pray for the needs of the church. That the Holy Spirit may help all members of the church grow in love and fidelity to Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may strengthen the efforts of world leaders to bring peace to their lands and prosperity to all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit may find comfort in the shelter of God's love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all in this community may have closed their hearts to God, may be blessed with the certainty of God's love for them, and seek the grace to reconcile, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all who have died may experience new life in the city of God. With our loving Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, and permanent diaconate, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And for the deceased Joel Kloiber, the deceased Stella Kuawa, the deceased Greg Strobich, the deceased Uh, the intention of Karen Hess, the deceased Larry Simmert on his birthday, the deceit of David Fox, the deceased Matilda Simic, the deceased Russ Chaplin, and all those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus, into the world that we may have the fullness of life. May we be ever more receptive to receive the love and grace of Christ. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself has bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtues and its rewards. Through Jesus, the heavenly angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, you are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by a divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. Almighty God, purify our minds, renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Thanks be to God. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. Novena to St. Anthony, O glorious St. Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted and distressed, who by a miraculous revelation has directed those to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays and there piously invokes thee will fill the power of thy intercession Encouraged by this promise, come to thee, O powerful saint, and with a firm hope I implore thy aid, thy protection, thy counsel, and thy blessing. Obtain for me, I beseech thee, my request in this necessity. But if it should be opposed to the will of God, and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be conducive to my salvation. Christ, our, Lord. Amen. our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who didst glorify thy faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession. To the infant Jesus in the arms of St. Anthony, O oh, Jesus, my Savior, <laughs> <clears throat> the 
graciously hear my prayer and assist me in my necessities. Saint Athi, our patron and our advocate. Saint Athi, powerful in word and work. Saint Athi, attentive to those who invoke thee. Saint Athi, glory of the Church and honor of the Franciscan Order. Saint Athi, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, whose relic I hold may be blessed today and always in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit.